So December 3rd, 1999, we went home that night and about 11.30 at night, we got a call from Hal's good friend, Jeremy, and he had indicated that Hal had been in a, a car accident. So the night of Hal's accident, we were at a conference and we were coming back from it. He gets in the car, I get in my car and we head out. He got ahead of me and I caught a red light. How was driving about 65 miles per hour. The drunk driver was going 80 miles an hour. Someone crossed the median and hit them head on. His Ford Mustang spun around and the oncoming driver T-boned him. There was like all this debris in the middle of the freeway. And my buddy looks out the window and says, I think there was a Mustang on the side of the road. I was like, dude, I couldn't even tell. And as I kind of started driving, he's like, no, man. I think that was Hal's Mustang. When I talked to Jeremy, I, I, I told him to tell Hal that we loved him and, you know, that he had to hang in there and that, you know, we were all coming. The fire department everyone showed up. They had to cut through the car off the to have to pull him out. His heart had stopped for about six to seven minutes. I remember walking through the door and it was like they'd been waiting for us. And it, you know, there was whispers and it was like the L rods are here and then we were rushed into a room. The damage that was done to his body was horrific. I did not expect him to live through the weekend. He's probably not gonna be able to hear because of the damage to his ear. He might not be able to see because he had shattered bones around his eye. He'll never walk again. There was so much brain trauma and they told us that, you know, he would be a vegetable. I think he was in the coma for about a week. First it was like, say goodbye. Then they were like, oh, looks like he might make it, sort of. We knew he was alive inside. His brain was still working. He wasn't a vegetable. And he woke up the next day talking. When Hal woke up, his short-term memory was completely impacted. So it was like Groundhog's Day every day. I remember one time he's like, did I get in a plane crash? I think we went with that story for a little while. I was like, tomorrow we'll just, we'll retell the real story again, you know? And he took his first step. And it was just another one of those things where people were just shocked at how fast he was coming back. He just defied everything the doctor said. We laughed through all of it. It's just, you know, you always kind of found humor and I think that helped him survive. When Hal got out of the hospital four months later, his high school principal called and he said, I know this is crazy, but he goes, what, do you think Hal would speak to the student body? And so that was the start really of Hal's speaking career. I just feel like Hal had another purpose. He wasn't done yet. I still believe that now. It was a miracle. The Miracle Morning. Watch it live, 12-12-2020. Get your tickets now.